Hey everyone, um, as you can see today I am not wearing my afro. Um, today is just going to be a quick tutorial on this um, Marley twist that I've done. It's a crochet Marley twist. So I'm going to take it out just to show you guys the what exactly it is that I've done. Um, I could have done this twist on my scalp but the, the, the reason I haven't done that, that I find is whenever I do like braids or um, whenever I do like box braids or twist, when it starts to grow out, I find that it puts a lot of pressure on the strand of hair that you've attached it to. But when you have it, um, your cornrows and you've actually done a crochet twisting, at least when it's growing there's less pressure and it doesn't break your hair and also when when I finish all I have to do is just unravel the twist and take it out so I can actually reuse this hair um, to do crochet so who said you can't do anything with crochet that's just you know I'm just proving you wrong um, to show you that you can do any hairstyle you want with crochet braids um, I've decided to use a color 30 uh, color 27 and a 1B just to you know just to give it a bit more life to it just to make it a lot more exciting because I find sometimes when you do the just black it's a bit boring anyway let's get on with it let me show you some of the styles that you can do with this crochet twist like I explained earlier on I decided to leave this bit out not to crochet this part in not to twist it because I wanted to have that whole shaved Kind of look. I'm sorry I'm moving a lot but it's just to be able to explain it properly to you guys so I've left all this bit out and um, just to give it that a bit more um, just to be a bit more creative anyway the first style I'm gonna show you of how to style this hair it's um it's the opto I'm going to show you how to pull it up. So you just take the bit that you've done, um, the front bit that you've sectioned. So all I've done, like I was explaining, is I've just done my um, braid pattern back this way and I've inserted the hair in I've, and I've twisted it. So that's what I've done. So that bit that, the front bit, you just take it up. Take it all up like that. Take a little strand of hair, just one strand, and roll it around. Just roll it around. And you get this. So you can wear it up this way. That could be one style. You wear it up that way. But if you don't want it that way, you just take the hair twist it, not too small, just so it goes round, just twist it around, tuck it in, take the second one, twist around a little bit and just tuck it in and you get your high bun, get your high bun side. Do get the high bond look. So the next thing you can do to get a fish bone look, take it all out, take two strands of hair, two strands, wrap them around each other, take another two strands, wrap it around, just keep taking two strands of hair from underneath and wrap it around. Another two strands. And when you're done, when you get to the end, if you want it to go all the way to the end, you just take it, 
twist it around, bend it towards the back. If you can tuck it in, you know, you tuck it in. If not, good old clip to hold it in. And here you go. So you have the fishbone sergeant look. Easy peasy. Two strands, just keep wrapping around, wrapping around to the end. Take it, sweep it across, take your clip, put it in, and there you go. That's how it looks. I know the lighting here is not the greatest, but just bear with me. Yeah, so that's how you do the second, second or third look.